Today I'm going to go through a problem that is like your dividing fraction word problems. We're going to talk about three questions. The three questions are, what is being split up? How is it being split up? And does our answer make sense? These three questions are going to help us figure out how to solve fraction problems that have division. They're dividing fraction word problems. So the question says, near Des Moines, there is a construction crew working on repaving an eight mile stretch of highway. Each day they finish two thirds of a mile. How many days will it take until they are finished? Well, the first thing I ask myself is what is being split up? Is the eight mile stretch of highway being split up or is the two thirds of a mile being split up? So in this case, it's the eight mile stretch of highway because if we have eight miles, eight miles, that eight mile stretch is being split up every day they finish two thirds of a mile. They finish two thirds of a mile every day. So the eight mile stretch is being split up and we're gonna figure out how many days it'll take until they're finished. So we take eight. The reason it's important to ask yourself what is being split up is because that number goes first. Eight divided by two thirds. The second question that we ask ourselves is how is it being split up? And it's being split up every two thirds of a mile. That's how it's being split up. So every day it gets, they finish two thirds of a mile. So that goes second. So we're gonna solve this. We'll get eight over one. I'm gonna KFC three over two. I can cross cancel. I multiply across. I get 12 over one, which is equal to 12 days. So now the third question says, does our answer make sense? Well, does it make sense that if they finish two thirds of a mile every day, that in 12 days that they could be done with eight miles? Yeah, that seems reasonable to me. So that does make sense. Let's pretend we flipped it. Let's pretend we flipped it and put two thirds divided by eight over one. And we KFC'd two thirds times one over eight would give us, we can cross cancel, multiply across, we'll get one over 12. Would it make sense that, um, sorry, let me, would it make sense that they can finish eight miles of highway in one twelfth of a day. If in one day it, they can only, they finish two thirds of a mile. No, that wouldn't make sense. So always ask yourself, what is being split up? That goes first. Then ask yourself, how is it being split up? That's what goes second. Then at the end, always ask if your answer makes sense. That goes with any question. Ask yourself if the answer makes sense. If the answer makes sense, then you can feel confident that you maybe got it right. If the answer doesn't make sense at all, then it's probably that you did something wrong. So, and in this case, in dividing fractions, it's typically that you just flipped the, that you have the wrong numbers in the wrong order. So the most important thing I think is to ask yourself that third question, does our answer make sense? Because that can be used on any question you solve. Let's try another one, asking those same questions. Sorry, wrong one. This one says, five friends wanted to eat le the leftover pizza in the fridge. There were only three and a half pieces left, and they agreed to split them evenly. How much pizza did each person get? So what is being split up? Are the friends being split up? No. The three and a half pieces are being split up. And how is it being split up? It's being split up amongst the friends. So we're gonna take three and a half divided by five. Three and a half goes first because the three and a half pieces are what are being split. So I'm gonna rock around the clock. Two times three is six times, or plus one is seven. So I get seven over two divided by five over one. I would KFC, keep the first flip the second, change the sign. Can I cross cancel? I cannot, 
So I multiply across and get 7 over 10. So now we have to ask ourselves, does it make sense that you would get 7 tenths of a piece? Well, it does make sense because there's not enough there's not enough pieces for one piece or there's not enough pieces for each person to get one piece. So they're going to get less than a piece. Seven tenths of a piece is less than one piece. So I can feel confident that that's right. Cause that does make sense. Always ask yourself those three questions when, when solving these three questions, when solving dividing fraction word problems, if you have questions, let me know. Otherwise this should help. Thank you.